have the best sustain as well, um, apart from the fact that Rafaela has heal. But of course, with the burst of the Lilia, it's almost impossible to out-sustain that. It's almost impossible to rely on your healings. That's probably why they picked it up. The question is, where will it go? Mid lane or gold lane? Well, it is going to be the question here. Beatrix, very, very dominant laner. If he goes to the mid laner, will dominate that lane. Do they want to put this hero to suffocate the Clint or just to get that mid pressure so that they can make the split happen in the early stages of the game? It is That is going to be the question that we need to see answered here in the game. Between these two teams, it's Onik who actually likes winning early and Blacklist exactly. who's willing to trade that early game. But ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get into the match. Game number one upon us. These are the lineups. This is Blacklist International versus Onyx PH. Game one in a best of seven for the World Championship. I want to hear it. I want to see it break the code or what time is it? Onyx time. But unfortunately, we are Ooh. going to take a look <laughs> at the drafts a little bit more. Let's yep. talk about it even more here. I think I'm going to start it off with Blacklist draft, mm. right? For Blacklist Draft itself, it is the typical Ube, I can kind of say, but a little bit different. It's refined oh. here, all right? Because they have the winning side lanes with the Clint. They can get that pressure as well with Edward on that Uranus, but there's their core mechanic is still going to be that front to back. That's what's going to make them win these games. Now, the, so the thing that I see coming out from the side of Blacklist International is that they don't have the hard engage uh, we normally see with Haji, for example, in the Grok or maybe on the Cho. There's really no, not a way to start the fight unless they do it with the Holy Baptism, right? Yep, they can only get these catches. They don't have any real call as to where the fights happen. They have exactly. no way to pin down anybody from Onyx. And if you're looking at Onyx Philippines, they can rely on this Matilda to start the fights with them. Curious to see which is the mid laner or the the gold laner. Actually, I wasn't able to catch it because it was just a quick glimpse when we paused. But um, my guess is that they will put the Lilia against this Clint in the Same. gold lane so that they will have a great lane. As Clint is generally a hero that will be uh, a 50 50 uh, matchup trade. against mm -hmm. the Matrix. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the side of Clint, it's a trade kind of hero, right? You yeah. don't really want to go for these all ins early on. And same goes for the Lilia. It's going to be really good. Lilia and Clint, this matchup will be heavily favored towards the side of Lilia because of the wave clear and that trade pressure. Yeah. Which means you're, you're going to have Oh My Venus visit. Clint. Yes. We've seen Oeb uh, do this. We've seen him like breeze through the first five or six minutes. And then next thing you know, he's just chipping away at turrets. Absolutely. So that's that's going to be the question here. What do Onyx Philippines want to respond that with, right? Blacklist, they are going to put Venus on that gold lane, just basically babysitting as usual Ooh. for the Filipino sniper. But for Onyx PH, they have a lot of options here. They can go and try to do the same thing, help out Marky, or they can go to the bottom side as well, help out Delarski on the Esmeralda. Again, it's a winning lane going up against Uranus, all right? Exactly. Uranus won't be able to do anything until he hits that level four. And yep. even then, it's going to be very easy for them to look for dives with the Lancelot and the Matilda. Maybe if they can abuse that, that will be great because eventually the Uranus will have a better time macro-wise. Then again, for the side of Onyx Philippines, they want to engage. They can use the Falling Star Moon eventually in the mid game as well as the late game. And then, of course, rely on their uh, wave clear for, for all of those split pushing or for macro uh, mechanics coming up from the side of Onyx Philippines. So it, this is a very interesting dynamic. Both teams having straight up win conditions. And I think that this is the time where you say it's definitely a 50-50 between these two teams. It's yeah. a spike. They have to be aware of that level four spike on the side of Onyx PH. But then Blacklist answers back with a more defensive uh, role because that's when the Mountain Shocker comes in. That's when they actually have um, wow. their, their, their disengaged tools come online. But just the same, you have to consider the Uranus is going to scale up as quickly. Maybe it should try to scale up faster than the Esmeralda so they can do that neutralization. They can do the isolation play. So yeah, it, it, it's all about timing. Onic time, they definitely want to snowball. Blacklist to see how they're going to answer back. Here we go back into the map. All right, I gotta say this though, Onik, they have just been that catchphrase that that the tag is so so catchy, yeah, man. Yeah, I agree. What time is it? It's Onik time. I you know I wouldn't be surprised if they have a watch sponsor later on <coughs> for <coughs> MPL season nine. <laughs> <coughs> Uh, makes me wonder though, as uh, we first saw that with the opening, right? But Boloyski, yeah, just um, uh, just some pokes coming out in the mid lane, and we know that Rafael as well as uh, Farsa is so strong when it comes to like poking. Oh! Just as we said it, man. We were talking Whoa. about this. The Lilia winning that lane matchup. First blood brought to you by Razor. What you were saying? 
Wow, uh, yeah, it's just all about the pokes, but in top lane, they already have the big poke coming out, but Dilarski. Oh, a little too deep. Uh, again, it's both teams playing off of different timings. They know that that was the original plan, so they're playing off of their pace. Tempo going over here to Onyx PH, but by a very small margin. Oh, my Venus looking low. Kyrie gets hit. Oh, him. He's going to be dashed oh. through with a puncture. Pinned down with that goal oh. ascent. There you go. Thorn yeah. Rose keeping him in. Again, Onyx Philippines now with the winning lanes. It's going to be really good for them to look for plays on the map. And this is exactly what they need to keep on doing. Look at Dolarski. He's basically taking all the resources, trying to force Wise to be uncomfortable in his own jungle. And Onyx Philippines, they can look for a fight here. Even though Kyrie has lost a lot of HP, they still have the resources. And there you go. Blacklist, they can't contest without the winning lanes. Yep, four members oh. here. Oh, up top, another one! Marky gives away his second death in two minutes. Oh, this wow. is insane. We spoke about this matchup, but I didn't expect wow. it to be two solo kills in the first two minutes, man. This is going to be really good. Onyx Philippines are just going to have to capitalize yep. to this constantly, but Blacklist, they need an answer quick. No, they're, they're making All My Venus very busy. It's like yep. a very hectic day for All My Venus as he needed to kind of answer to the turtle fight, which wasn't really reset by Onyx Philippines. Oh. And then because of that movement, he didn't have the time to actually help Olim. And there goes the second kill from Marky into the top lane. Edward gonna Red spot him out. Retribution on Kyrie on point, taking this one. Turtle Slane brought to you by the STB. You boys are right. They're, they're gonna try to overload the queen mm -hmm. and just because of their sheer mechanics and the damage they're putting on so early three minutes in they're ahead now by 1k let's look at the items oh, it's uh, just building up now and Marky getting the enchanted talisman before the three minute mark that is crazy and to, to think that he didn't even have the mystery shop this is such a good scaling hero. Even when it's a mage, it will put up some damage in the late game. Great wave clear. And with the Enchanted Talisman, he's going to just spam out all of his skills up top. Make sure that Oheb will not have a good time in the early stages of the game. The thing is, right now, I feel like Onik, yes, you said it, overloading the Queen. But they're not just overloading the Queen. They're overloading every single member from the side of Blacklist except for Haji. Wise having trouble in that jungle. Venus going everywhere on the map, forcing something. And even in the 2v1, it's going to be Marky winning out in these trades. This is not good for the side of Blacklist, but again, it is that seven minute mark that is all about that ultimate bonding experience, all right? When Blacklist gets that power spike, that's when they start to roll again, but they need to be able to stay consistent in the early stages. It won't matter that seven minutes, yes, it's a power spike, but if Onyx Philippines can just get the huge lead, it won't go to Blacklist at all. Boloyski got them spirit blooms. He's lethal. He feels it going cut back through the jungle. Haji, it's interesting how much Onyx PH has rotated and how every time Blacks International might have been a second or two too late, which resulted in this small lead. 20 seconds to the next turtle. Edward getting pinned here by Dilarski and Kyrie falling Star Moon onto that wave. This is a very low kill score game compared to a lot of what we've seen in the playoffs. Right now, look at this. Three onto Edward. He's looking for refuge. Oh, he's gonna let go of this turret down here. He oh, up top! Marky gets blasted by Haji, maximum range. He's fine. He's fine. He was yes. able to clear the waves as well, but oh my goodness, we'll go for the reset. This is the Onyx Philippines special. The banana split once again coming in to game number one. Look at how they're playing the map. They have all these winning lanes. It's going to be hard. Even if, even though Blacklist goes up, Marky, that is why they picked up the Lilia instead of the Lunox. So, so powerful. Yep, they didn't need the spike. Here we go. Second turtle up already. Edward putting a few stacks onto the three members here. Kyrie dashing on through the wall. He's just <laughs> moving around. There's wow. a Metagare strike. Still Kyrie on point. Getting the second turtle of the game while Hatred puts up a lead wall. Did you see how Kyrie just danced yes. through it? Just used the reset, the factor coming out from both the fact puncture as well as the Phantom Execution. Even using the Thorn Rose as an iframe source so that you will not be hit by some of the skill shots of Blackness International. It's amazing to watch and they also secured the turtle for that and Onyx PH really just taking over the map in the first five minutes of the game. That's why they call him the future, man. Onyx Philippines right now. Mm -hmm. Just forcing their gameplay onto Blacklist. Two more minutes, technically one more minute right now to that power spike for the ultimate bonding experience. But at this point, I don't feel like they're going to be able to do anything with that. Onyx Philippines, they can just continually, Ooh. you know, basically stop the fights from happening based on the pressure they have on the side lanes. 
slowly something tells me Blacklist may have found the Achilles heel. Maybe by attacking mid, they can actually bear down onto Hatred, yep. but might not be as easy a plan because of how much bottom lane was opened up by Dilarski. But look, there's movements Ooh. up here. They're waiting. Oh, my Venus finds Marky. Circle Eagle! Oh, by Beloisky! They let go underneath the third. They're pinning down Oe, but Oe Venus. Look at Kyrie from the back. Oh, stun. Gets stunned by the Holy Baptism. Forward oh. flicker by Hatred. Oh. Takes down Oe. There's another fight down bottom. Delarski taken down by played. Wise. It's a one for one trade across the map. It is, but what we gotta take a look at is the, the side of Onyx Philippines. The way they get the kills is they translate to instant objectives, whereas Blacklist, they're struggling to keep up in the objective no. side of the game. Onyx Philippines, yes, three to one. The kill board isn't that much, but look at the turrets. Two turrets, two turtles. This is why Onyx Philippines have been able to dominate that gold lane, the pure control of the objectives in the game. And it's crazy to think that Onyx PH after, you know, Marky. Ooh, Marky really dancing with wow. them. Yeah, it's crazy to think that Onyx Philippines, after getting a kill up top, they put both Hatred as well as Baloisky back to the mid lane because there was a fresh kill of that and they defended. Oh wait, Marky okay. may have bitten off more than he could chew. Edward with the slain. flicker forward, Ionic Blue Edge. Hatred punishes slain. him almost immediately, circling Eagle on the Oheb. Not enough damage, Kyrie. it down. Kyrie puncturing on through. He's lashing, he's dashing, kills oh. him with a Phantom Execution. Down goes the Filipino Sniper. It looked like it was going to be bad for Kyrie when he missed that Thorn Road, oh. but oh, on the bottom side, Wise picks up a kill and they are getting some kills on the board. But again, these turrets are going to be crucial. Look at the map, all the tier ones taken down. Only a two kill lead for Onyx, but look at the goal, 2,000 already. Oh my goodness, and looking at um, Onyx PH, it kind of feels like they're really putting into heart this win condition of shutting down OM. 0, 4, and 1 on the Filipino Sniper as Onyx Philippines have taken over this gold lane and might be con looking to control this turtle as well. Oh, charge out of the Soul Blooms. There's the Phantom Execution still kept oh. in check by Kyrie. It's off of cooldown. They'll put no up way. a wall here. No. Oh, yeah, damage! And there's the Black Shoes. Cool. Marky does not want to bite off more than he could chew. They're blasting Edward. The All turtle. three turtles so far taken by Onyx. Ooh, did you see that tag team coming out from Onyx PH? They poked Oh My Venus. And that's great, right? Because Onyx Philippines, if they poke Black International, they had to go back. And then afterwards, Marky eventually gets there. Again, forcing oh. skills out of Oh My Venus. That flicker as well as the Holy Baptism, not available in a turtle fight meant that it's free for Onyx PH. But look at that wolf. Actually, Kyrie, he didn't go for the, you know, he went for the OR Axe and instantly, guess what the second item is? It's a Hunter Strike for this Lancelot. Mm. Very, very interesting build coming in for Kyrie. That is a snowballing build. Yep. He wants to keep it rolling. He wants the kills to keep on coming. He yep. wants to make like their mascot. He wants to go fast. Well, mm. wants to go. You know, it might be that he is rushing. Oh. Gets Kyrie. caught, Kyrie stunned. Maybe a little oh. too much. Battle execution. Iframes on point. The Kyrie Ooh. killer, Kyrie survives. My goodness. Uh, the last time I saw the Hunter Stark was, correct me if I'm wrong, Albert actually played it, Mirko. And, uh, he, he played he, that on Makito, though. It, it, that is. Of course, that is a, that's one of the builds. But yeah, I did see the Hunter Strike on the Lancelot, but it is true. It's dependent on snowballing. And so far, Onyx PH, they're on track for the snowballs, in fact, yeah. But this lead, 2.6k, they should not be comfortable with this because if you're looking at Blacklist International, there's decent defense on them through this Farsa as well as this Clint. Mount Shocker set up. Blacklist International aware of everyone, and that's going to be wise. Putting a few beads onto Baloisky up top. Edward getting blasted by Hatred. And oh. in comes Kyrie. Hatred secures a kill. Yeah, again, Onyx Philippines is so good at splitting up the map. But at this point, look, they are stopping their game. Blacklist, even though you're looking at the kills, yes, it is still favoring Onyx Philippines. They are still the ones with map pressure. Right. But look, that wow. is when Blacklist start to come free here. When those tier one turrets get taken down, a lot of teams struggle to get the tier twos because of how good Blacklist International can basically manipulate these waves, yep. go for the team fights, and secure the vision in their own jungle. Usually, when tier ones are taken down, that's when the opposing team can just push in your jungle. But Blacklist, they, they know how to do this. They know how to open up the map very, very well. And this is exactly what you're seeing from them. Well, just make sure on the PH, don't give up your mid lane turret. That's having their focus. And just did Kyrie just bailing through Blacklist International. But then again, it still is very difficult for Arctic Page to kind of push. Because if you're looking at their composition, only Hatred can actually hit turrets. Apart from that, they need to go melee against oh. all these turrets. Baloisky enters a lethal death push, oh. gets caught by a holy baptism. Kyrie dashing on through. He's used his puncture. His Phantom Execution blasts wise. Haji answers back with a feathered airstrike, taking one out on the way. Oheb trading out. 
via Baloisky one for one so far. Both teams disengaged. That's gonna be very worth it for the side of Onyx BH. They got the jungler for the Roamer. And one thing I do want, I wanted to touch on this before that fight came up. It's gonna be really easy for Onyx PH in these team fights. Why? Because they all. All they need to do is target Wise, all right? Wise is the only one with kills on the board. It's time to take a look at the replay and look at what they do. Exactly yep. that, targeting only Wise in these team fights. And you gotta have to look at Haji, the way he used the flicker to get out of the zone of Kyrie, oh. and then Kyrie also trying to outplay Haji with the Thorn Rose to dodge some of the Feathered Air Strike, then gets out of the zone of the Feathered Air Strike. Such mechanics from, uh, you know, former, I would say, um, the rivals in the jungler role. Man, again, you see from the kills, five total kills for Blacklist, three of them picked up by Wise, all right? So this is going to be the fact of the matter. On the Philippines, all they need to do is shut Wise down. Oheb is so behind, he basically does no damage at this point. I was about to bring that up. This whole time, we've left Oheb for what, five minutes now? I'm guessing his items must be in point, must have caught up. But Onyx PH, they have a different plan. They're starting up this Lord already. Edward trying to get a visual. Oh my Venus, poising up. This 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 wall here, this bush is dangerous. In goes Marky, eats a few Kyrie, Kyrie. Oh, Look at this oh, from the back line. Why take it down again? But Loki did it out. Kyrie falls, and they're still going. They're still deep in. Delarski dancing around Oheb. And that's going to be Edward flickering on out. Oh. They're not done. Oheb, he smells blood. He wants to take down Hatred. And they're far too deep in. They disengage. Ooh. That was an interesting two for two. What great. a great 2 for 2 I mean, we know that Blacklist International excels in these kind of clashes as they really, really have mastered this Lord fight. And that is what we saw in their series against BTK. They have uh, really bodied BTK in these uh, Lord fights. And so far, it has been good. And Onik, interesting decision to actually go for heroes instead of focusing on the Lord after them starting the Lord themselves. We need to talk about the win conditions coming in for both of the teams. Onik PH, look at the heroes. They are ability-based heroes. They are one and done, all right? They're a hit and run composition, whereas Blacklist, they want these fights to go a long distance, maybe all the way to that final moment. Look at their heroes, two marksmen and Farsa. These are continuous abilities, continuous basic attacks coming in con they always, you know? So Onik, what they want to do is go for the hard engage to the back line, destroy that back line and back away, instantly go for an objective, whereas Blacklist, they want to keep on fighting. Haji's been just so good with this hero. Oh, there we go. They're gonna come in. They find one. Edward gets jumped on. Circling Eagle. Ah! And the jump in by Delarski. Oh. That's going to be the passion. And the <laughs> holy healing saving the rest of Blacklist International. Edward's not done. He wants more. They know that they're going for the Lord. Both teams, they know that they have to do it very, very quickly. Edward putting a few stats oh. onto the back. They take down Ohem. Kyrie gets a dash in. Trading out for Belowski. That's a win for Onik. Mount Shocker making sure that it's safe to disengage. Kyrie still pressing. Edward and it's a oh. clean go. That's Blacklist back on the map, taking a mid lane tier one. Remember what I said? Prolonged fights is gonna favor Blacklist International. Onyx PH with this composition, they need to go for the hard lockdown. If not, Blacklist, look what they're able to do. They get two turrets exactly. off of a fight that was one for one. Amazing, amazing uh, recovery coming up from Blacklist International as they did lose of an important hero, and that's Oheb. However, we just you know, the decision-making coming up from Blacklist International was just really good. And they disengage against Onyx PH, heal themselves up, get away from the zone of, the, of those dominant sides, those anti-heals coming out from Onyx PH, then fight again. And it really looked wonderful for Blacklist International. They want to go for top, though. Oh, okay. Just at the nick of time, Phantom Execution out. Mount Shocker, he's not out of the woods just yet. Oh, Blacklist International, they've built up the confidence. I think they're ready. A very, very small gold lead. 800, you can say. That's Blacklist International starting up the Lord. Edward drawing a perimeter. The Enforcer, the muscle, keeping all the other members of Onyx oh. PH down. Oh, Belowski put down to his lowest oh. and taken down by Wise. That's a one-man advantage for the side of Blacklist. Haji popping the feathered airstrike. Oh, Marky. Looking low. Marky as well flickering on up. No more black shoes here. Oh, they go in. Edward. Slain right before he can take out Marky. That's one for one so far. Hatred getting blasted here. And there's an Abir's passion. Wise coming up for the re-engage. That's a Haji jump back. This up. Haji, he's going to look for one. Blasting him. Oh. There's the better effect in the face. Wise secures the kill. It's a one for three so far. And they take the Lord. Oh my god. Onyx Philippines, they were so disconnected in that. And the punishment was there for Blacklist International. And unfortunately, Kari went for the wraparound. Did not hit the Phantom Execution onto Haji. That's why Haji was able to just run away and punish him for his for his transgressions and Onyx PH have lost so much of their lead. Blacklist International
Major National taking the Enhanced Lord, meaning to say they now have map control. This is the refined Blacklist that we were all talking about back in the BTK matchup. Blacklist, look at how well they're able to play. On the Philippines for the first few minutes were the ones pushing their play style onto Blacklist, but they did not crack. They waited, they waited up until that Ube strat could work. It didn't work in the seven minutes because they were so behind, but now look at these items, look at these heroes. They finally scaled up through the farming on the cross map plays and they are the ones pushing Onyx Philippines to play their way. They have nowhere to go at this point. They can only follow Blacklist Tempo. I, I put a name to this when I, we saw it happen against BTK. It was called the, the, the rubber banding effect. Blacklist was rubber banding and they were just waiting and now this is their game to lose. Look at this, Luminous Lord marching down through bottom. They are setting it up, Feathered Airstrike, blasted out of three, four members of Onyx PH, and they're gonna take that inhibitor down bottom. Look at the discipline, catching one, Dilarski with the Holy Baptism. Mid's gonna get taken down as well. Ohem takes it, the Filipino sniper. Pew, pew! This is gonna be insane right now. Look, the, the 2,000 goalie for Onyx Philippines, it felt destroyed. like it didn't even exist at this point. 4,000 for Blacklist, if they're cracking in the base. Look at this calculated assault. Wise coming in, threatening the passive tick onto Marky, and they're still here. They are not letting go. They know that there's ults on the side of Blacklist International, wow. and they give full respect. Mount Shocker keeping him in place. They might try to look for a kill here onto Dilarski. He's low, down to a third of his health. Circle Eagle by Bolonski into the back line. He's gonna get punished. Oh, Kyrie. Immortality. Look Looking for Kyrie, he's looking for heads. There's a better air strike. Wise goes down. Oh. Two go down, one for one so far. And Dilarski jumping on. That's gonna be another one taken down. Haji from Boloiski. And it's Edward. He's running, he's buying time. Here comes Ohib. And oh my Venus gonna go for the fire back. That's Marky catching a bullet. Boloiski, he's still gonna go down. The Filipino sniper gets ahead. Marky pops the black shoes. He's okay. Three on three, still inside Onyx PH's base. This is insane. The prolonged fight once again with Oheb just standing in that back line. And look how this fight is gonna go again. Oh, they're still going. Holy Baptism catches Dilarski. And he's still dancing around, giving him shields and taking down the queen. Popping immortality and the Nibiru's passion. Point blank. Marky secures the kill. Edward and Oheb may have overstayed their well. Welcome. They disengage. There's a heal from Edward. He's still pushing his luck. He's still going. Dilarski gonna dance around. Both of them still oh have immortalities. We get a reset. 18 Ooh. minutes in, and what a game do we have on our hands. Look at the scoreboard. Dead even, 13 to 14. 2,000 gold lead though for the side of Blacklist. Now what Onik needs to do is, again, target that back line. It's very easy to say. It's very hard to do considering the front line and the peel from the side of Blacklist. Look at the items right now. Which, what, what can you see? Oh, well, I can see that there, are, there is Wind of Truncheon on side of Hatred and they freshly picked up Winter, um, I mean Wind of Nature for both Wise and Hatred. This was fresh off of Wise and this is perfect against Hatred as well as Kyrie. As we can see that Kyrie really Risky. would like to go for Wise all the time. Goes in, Circling Eagle on to Wise. A false engage. Dilarski goes back with the Falling Star Moon. Edward pushing them back. Oh, this is... On the PH, I wonder why they pop that. Maybe they're just threatening for kills as Kyrie is just waiting for farm onto the other side of the map. But Blacklist International, they do have the advantage of all of the minions just pressing against Onyx PH without the inhibitor turret. At this point of the game, Onyx Philippines, they need to micromanage so many things, you know? Three lanes basically constantly going to be pushing in with those super minions activated from those inhibitors as now Lord spawns by TikTok Live. How are they going to contest for this? Blacklist, they are better in the prolonged fights, in the poke division as well. Onik will need to pull out some crazy fights, maybe even some miracle plays to be able to make that happen. Miracle plays. We'll see if Onik, Onik PH is known for that, but Blacklist oh. International, they're so composed. Circling Eagle on the one. They might get it off of this odd entry by Edward. But they're not going to let that happen. Not so easily. Mountain Shocker, you always have to remember, Blacks International has that one tool to know exactly where everyone is. So the wraparound, that isolated catch, not so easy. Again, on the Philippines, forcing these out, you know? They, like you said, this is what they do. And literally right now, 20 minutes in, they need to keep on forcing this because look at the buildups in the waves. From the bottom oh, side, Marky, Marky, oh my god. Marky, Mountain Shocker, everything is a threat here right now. The range game on Blacklist International is huge as they take the Lord in the blink of an eye. Onik, no time to respond. Dilarski gets his immortality bomb. Circling Eagle by Belosi, keeping Edward in check. Down goes the Esmeralda. Wise takes the kill. And right now, even Hatred suffers a death. Down goes the Beatrix. The Filipino sniper gets one. Kyrie 
falls as well. It's only Marky left. The Lord and Blacklist Ooh. marching into their base. Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves game number one. Marky Wipe goes. Out. Blacklist takes it 1-0. Can the Lord fight? I think that this game will go for either Haji or Edward. Edward was able to just make sure that Onyx PH is in check and they know where they are. They don't even need to pop them out in shock or where the to know where the members of Onyx PH are. It's just that Edward is keeping tabs of it and Haji, this guy smiling because I would say he carried this game. The way he uses his ultimate just to disrupt and maybe burst the squishy members of Onyx PH was just phenomenal.